It is just a Thursday for me. <laughs> I have gone through 120 right now and it's about to be pretty much my lunch time. I meant to film this video as like a what I eat in a day, what I do in the day, like behind the scenes, but I forgot to film my breakfast. So I already started off on like the wrong foot. If you know me at all though, if you follow me on Instagram, slight plug, my breakfast stays the same. It's protein oats. If you want to see a video of me making it, I have a morning routine linked and I will put it, I think it's this corner. I'll link it here or you, I can make another video and you know show you how I actually cook my protein oats. If you're really that intrigued by it, I can definitely make a video for that. But right now I wanna show you how I make my lunch. And really I prepped all this at the beginning of the week, but I prepped it in a different way than maybe what you're used to or maybe you are, I'm curious to hear about it. One of my favorite things to sip on like midday is a little, I don't know what you call it. I'm not gonna call it a mocktail cause that's not what it is, but it's just like a hydration drink. It's sparkling water and a noon. Sometimes I add a fresh squeeze, squeeze lime into it. It's kind of nice. And then there's still this cup just isn't big enough, but it's very cute. So I like to drink out of it and it's really good. Just like a little bit of carbonation with the noon. It makes it feel more fun, more festive. I have my tomatoes and like chopped vegetables. Oh yeah, my lettuce that I keep in my little bowl, wheat potatoes, and then my roasted chicken. And I made this chimichurri, it's looking a little brown. It's looking a little brown, but it's delicious. So I'm gonna use that, that should be good. I was thinking about adding some fresh herbs so I'm at home, but this is honestly what I've been prepping for lunches when I like go to work and I'm not at home. So I'm gonna make it exactly like that so you get a good idea of what I'm eating when I'm at work. All my components here, I have my lettuce that I prepped at the beginning of the week. I just cut it, really I tore it apart and I rinsed it and I just put some paper towels in there to collect extra moisture. I have my prepped veggies. Clearly I need to get more storing containers because I mean this works, but I would rather have like a lid. So I chopped all my veggies so they're prepped. I have my rotisserie chicken right here that I just shredded before putting in the fridge for later use. And then of course, some roasted sweet potatoes, just little cubes that I made and I roasted in the oven when I was prepping everything else. And then my chimichurri. And let me know if you want the recipe for this. It's not anything super chefy. I just had some herbs going bad and I threw it in here. Beep. Come, like get this plate together. It's like I said, stupid simple, but pretty much just like a bulked up salad. I'm personally someone who can, I can't enjoy my food unless my kitchen is clean. So I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna put all these away. Then we're gonna sit down and eat lunch. So natural. Oh my God. How did the camera get me coming to the table? And I apologize if the light is super orange. Um, it is what it is. Water always. Got my drink and got my lunch. And I try to keep lunch pretty light, but obviously really balanced just because if I eat something super heavy, I feel really tired after the meal. And that is never a good feeling, especially if you're trying to get work done. So what I typically do, especially on Thursdays, Thursdays are my day to really create, edit, and you know, 
figure out new content for you guys and for myself. So what I just got finished doing was filming the YouTube video. I'm going to be editing that in just a little bit. I filmed a, I just started collabing with Power Block, which is like a dumbbell company. They have adjustable dumbbells. And I'm curious to see, you know, your thoughts on if you ever use Power Block. I really don't know your opinions on it. I have used, used them before because my boyfriend has them. I like them. They're like literally a block and they're great for adjustable workouts at home, which obviously is my forte and what I love. But I got the Nordic track ones because they're round. And so I'm curious to see how I'm going to like them in an actual workout. But I filmed just some content for them on how to like use them. And I used them for a few moves and actually really loved them. I thought they weren't going to be as stable if I'm being quite honest, but I feel like they're more stable. Like my wrists feel more secure when using them and then really just get caught up on work and just do some more research i'm trying to do some research to eventually launch my membership site oh my gosh secrets out and i'm just trying to get a hold on you know what makes sense for me what makes sense for you if you're interested in that so give me any ideas that you may have as far as like what you would be looking for out of a membership site i mean there's so many out there so it's hard to please everybody but the goal is just to make it something that's financially accessible to a lot of people that's of, of course value and something that you enjoy turning to and going to pretty much every single day because it is a workout and fitness plan. Um, it shouldn't be something that you feel like bogged down by or that you feel like you have to tune into. I want you to want to be there. So anything you feel like you like and you've done other programs, please let me know. Um, anticipate challenges, live workouts, um, on-demand workouts, and just much, 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 much more. But pretty much, I'm gonna go eat this salad. I'll check in later on my next meal. It could be a snack. It could be literally in five minutes after I'm done with this. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat this. Alrighty, work got done. It is now 4.14 on the dot. I've been editing for some time. I feel so drained from editing and I have some really old bananas. So I figured I'm gonna make some banana bread today. It's been a minute. I don't really like to measure things. So we're gonna see how this turns out, but I'm gonna make banana bread. First thing I need to do is set the oven um, to 350 and let's do this thing. First, probably my bananas. waiting for the oven to heat up. I'm gonna clean up a little bit, but let me tell you, I'm about to start my period in probably like four or five days and I am freaking starving, like all the time. Like no amount of food will fix 
my hunger level is how I feel. To me, it also is important to lean into those cravings and those things that you need because my body is craving carbs and these things for a reason. And in the past, I would ignore those signs, drink water and just be hungry. And nowadays it's like, okay, I'm hungry. What can I snack on? That makes sense. And it isn't just something I can snack on just to snack on because it's healthy, but snack on and actually help my hormones, help my body. Just, you know, keep my energy, keep me energy levels up, keep my energy levels up because I just also get really tired, if you couldn't tell by my tired eyes. Yeah, I've been like editing pretty much all day. I had a really good walk this morning with a friend that just moved here from New York, and I'm so excited she's in Austin now. That was this morning, got coffee, and then I came home and started editing, and I posted and whatever. I feel so weird saying that, because it's like, obviously it's my job to do that, but I still content creating. I think it's a bad rap, but it takes so much time. Creatives, and maybe you'll understand, I want it to look a certain way, feel a certain way. I have an idea in my head. I want to come across the screen. Things just take time, or like you do an idea, and it flops. And you're like, wow, that actually did not turn out like I wanted it to turn out. Just been like dealing with that today and just kind of getting more inspo and doing some research on, like I said earlier, the membership side, just to make sure again, I've been ready. Just been a lot of like computer screen day, baking and cooking. It's just so therapeutic for me because I can zone out. Sometimes I'll put on a show or something, but honestly, sometimes I just cook in pure silence and it's so, so nice. I'll let earlier, probably gonna go for 40 minutes. Even if I feel like I've been on my computer and it sometimes it feels like I've done nothing, cleaning makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. And it makes me feel really put together and good. If like I have a messy house, messy, messy kitchen, like my life feels like it's falling apart, even if it's not. <laughs> Cleaning is done, chilling, I'm waiting for the banana bread. And while that happens, I'm going to continue editing, um, doing some research and just wait, honestly waiting to for six o'clock to roll around so that I can start making dinner with you, which also is meal prep, by the way. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I am trying to push myself to do work right now because come like six o'clock, I just know I'm, a, I'm not really a night owl. I, I know I'm gonna wanna shut off and shut out of the computer and just, I'm trying to, limit my screen time, especially going to bed around nine o'clock. What has helped me significantly with better sleep quality, waking up the next morning, doing my workout, staying on routine. So I'll see you when the banana bread is bread done. For those words, I'll see you when the banana bread is done. And we'll try it together. Mm, mm, mm. You know what time it is? Is banana bread time. I wish, I wish. Look at that. You could smell this kitchen because it smells Amazing. I'm gonna try a little piece. It's about 5.45 now. I just finished editing one of my major videos. It's taken me forever to edit, so I'm feeling good. Good, I'm feeling good. I'm not gonna say anything negative. I'm gonna cut into the man bread to reward myself. A little bit stuck to the sides as I shimmy my knife in. Just to separate it from the metal. Pick it up and I place it down. Oh man, look at that. It's beautiful. Oh my God, it's still on. Cool. simple and so amazing about bread and butter and a little bit of salt. Yeah, that's really my day of each for so far. Probably gonna have like a little bit of dessert after this. Actually, not probably, I 1000% like will. I'm gonna like keep it simple, keeping it fun. So I'm gonna eat this, finish editing, 
feels good. Now I need to create a thumbnail and all that fun stuff. Um, and that's that.